Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the seventh video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to configure multipathing network for storage access. Like you can see here in my last video I have installed open file storage box. The open file is basically open source uh, open source operating system which provide the ISC SAMs over the over IP or over FC. So we have one open file server here which you can see you are running my open file server on uh, on VMware workstation I have access my console here for open file server this is the uh, uh, you can access the open file by https colon slash slash the uh, open file IP and of uh, and uh, the port number is 446 so and last video I have configured my like iSCSI services on this and I have configured three uh, three learns on uh, three ISCC disk on this open file storage so if you want to check out just go and check out my previous video so the next one is my active directory server and vcenter server so I am using from since first video my active directory server this one is win2k8 dc01 my active directory server and this is my vcenter where I have installed my vcenter and you can see I have logged in by vspare client and vspare web client so the next one is my two ESX host, ESXi01 and ESXi02. Both the ESX host is running on VMware Workstation virtually. So here you, you can see. And let's let's have an idea about my demo environment. So the same thing here. I have two ho two hosts, one for my Active Directory, one for my vCenter. I have two ESX host here you can see and I have open file uh, open file or uh, server which provides the ISKC drive to my ESX host both ESX host the name of open file is ISKC so I have the this is the running environment which I, which I am going to use in my domain uh, domain and is demo uh, demo infrastructure you can say and here is the physical network adapter location in S uh, allocation and assignment in my uh, vcenter server so first thing i want to show you under the vcenter so i am going to log in on my vcenter web client and put it the credential and click on login so it's authenticating So it's initializing now. Just wait for a few minutes. So from the home page, I'm going to click on host and cluster. And under the data center of India, we have two ESX host. You can see ESXi01 and ESXi02. So I, I just want to configure networking for uh, to use multipathing to access the uh, ISKC learns which are uh, configured on our, our open file server. So this time I need to go to I'm on ESX01 click on manage. So here you can see I am using this is the network adapter I have added uh, you can say eight network adapter virtual network adapter on on both my ESX host you can see here on my ESX1 and ESX2 as well as I have added eight or uh, on both the servers so if you go here you can see my management network is a uh, like for NIC adapter I have added one two three four and management network you can see uh, on ESX I01 I have management type with this and ESX2 I have configured management type with this which I am using to connect right now if we go here um, and networking you can see we have a one kernel port here switch is 01 if you scroll little bit you can see the uh, VM kernel IP address on ESX1 and if you go same you can able to find on a second so what I am going to do I am going to add one more network adapter to my switch 01 
to provide the uh, like failover for NIC NIC 1 NIC 0 so I'm going to click on I just want to s s uh, show you select the V switch 0 click on NIC little score icon on NIC and click on plus button then we have one VM NIC VM NIC 1 and if you want to add multiple NIC you can select by selecting the control and clicking on the NIC so I'm going to add just one here so one of the NIC is goes failed on our ESXi so uh, uh, rather than we can access the like ESX host for management cons um, for the management uh, port management network so it's adding you can see now we have we have now two physical adapter connected with our uh, vSwitch01 and same I am going to do on my ESXi01 so if NIC goes fail we are able to reach to our ESX host to provide the fault tolerance here we are I have added the like two NIC on ESX10 as well as so you can see I have storage network connected one ESX1 I'm going to create two VM NIC uh, two VM kernel here for ISCC01 and ISCC02 and assign the IP address 192.168.1.201 and 202 for next so it's the it's access uh, basically this two IP address provide the multi-pathing access for our storage so let's proceed with the configuration and I'm going to click here on like add host networking on this page I'm going to select VM kernel network adapter click next and I want to create a new standard switch here click next on the configuration page which NIC you want to add so I'm going to select VM NIC 2 and 3 here so I have added click next and now we have information like I'm going to put ISC01 here and I'm not going to enable any services here because ISC required only the manage management IP that's all for transferring the data so click next and I'm going to define IP address like 192.168.1.201 and the subnet must be 222 255.255.0 and click next and finish so just wait adding virtual NIC to switch 1 so now we have switch 1 here which is connected with uh, both the physical uh, physical adapter so I am going to create one more switch a VM kernel network adapter here and I this time I'm going to use my adjusting switch which is vSwitch01 click next and I'm going to call it 02 here click next and assign the IP address so this time it should be 192.168.1.201 and uh, submit must 255 255 0 click next and finish adding virtual NIC to vSwitch1 so now we have two virtual NIC ISCC01 and ISCC02 so if you go here you can see ISCC02 is connected with both the NICs and here you can see as well as ISCC002 is also connected with both so I am going to activate only one NIC for one time on a ISCC1 or ISCC2 so that can be enable multi-pathing so I am going to click on here and ISCC01 and click on edit button and on the teaming adapt teaming and failover I am going to select overwrite and I am going to exclude here VM NIC 3 so you can see updating port group for ISC01 so now if you go here you can see ISC01 is only connected with VM NIC 2 and same I am going to 
do on this is 0 to go to trimming overwrite and I'm going to exclude VMNIC2 here click OK so now you can see ISKC2 is connected with VMNIC3 and ISKC01 is connected with VM2 VM, uh, VMNIC2 so we are done with ESX host 1 configurations and same I am going to replicate on my ESX i02 select the ESX host go to manage and on the fear we need to add uh, network adapters so VM, VM kernel network adapter click next and create a new standard switch next and just add the required NIC port here so I'm going to add two NIC here click OK click next and provide the VM kernel name so I'm going to put ISKC01 here no need to enable any services just click next and configure the IP address so I'm going to click 192.168.1.203 and the default gateway and click next and click on finish so adding virtual NIC so we have a switch 0 1 here switch 1 here and just click on pencil button to modify the configuration click on team on failover overwrite and exclude the VMNIC3 which we can use on our ISCC02 so click here on add networking kernel port next this time we use vswitch0 vswitch1 and type the name ISCC02 leave the all default click next and configure the IP address here 192.168.1.204 here and the put the default gateway oh, sorry subnet mask here so we are done with this click on finish now you can see on ISKC2 it is connected with both so we need to edit the setting here override and exclude the VMNIC0 VMNIC2 from here so now ISKC0 is connected with VMNIC3 and ISKC01 is connected with VMNIC2 so as per our uh, physical network adapter allocation and assignment we have configured like uh, created the switches and create configured the IP address on both ESX host for storage network and which which can access the storage box our I our I O oh, open filer to uh, uh, you can say as a multi pathing one for a single time it's used like ISCC01 and second time it uses ISCC02 if any of the link goes fail we can uh, back to our second ISCC uh, path so when we added the these path on our ISCC uh, ESX box we, we can see actually all the path which is available for accessing the uh, storage from ESX host so we are done here so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can drop me a mail I, uh, mail on my given mail id and next video we are going to add the uh, storage by using this uh, multipathing feature on our ESXi host which is known as also known as a data uh, data store adding the data uh, data store on v, uh, ESXi host so thank you for watching bye bye